2,000 years before mankind was created, there were creatures on the earth, and they caused corruption on it and shed blood. Then God sent against them a troop of angels who casted them away to islands in the seas. to start defining and explain some of our subject matter I have mentioned previously and will continue to mention throughout the series. We will go back and sketch the history of the Masons and further discuss their craft. But for now, let us ask a question, who are or what are the Jinn? They are unseen creatures that we share this earth with. They are interdimensional creatures that have been called by many names, aliens, spirits, Ethereans, ultra-terrestrials, and more. In God's book, the Holy Quran, their creator, God Almighty, gives them a name, the Jinn. The Arabic word, Jinn, means hidden, or that which is concealed. Under normal circumstances, they can see us, and we cannot see them. The Jinn have a free will to choose, just like human beings. The Bible calls Satan a fallen angel. This is incorrect. Angels were created from pure light and do not have free will or the ability to choose, they only obey the orders of their creator. The jinn are of three types, those who have wings and fly in the air, those who resemble snakes and dogs, and those who travel about ceaselessly. No human can see the jinn in their true essence, however some resemble vultures and snakes, others tall men in white garb. They may even appear as dragons, or a number of other animals. In addition to their animal forms, the jinn occasionally assume human form to mislead and destroy their human victims. For example, in one of the historical battles of the Muslims, named the Battle of Badr, the most powerful amongst the jinn, or Satan, assumed the form of a man named Siraka ibn Malik, and urged the pagan Arabs to move forward to the battle, saying, Then God sent the angel Gabriel against him, and when Satan saw him, he cried out to the pagans, I have nothing to do with you. I see that which ye do not see. I fear Allah and Allah is severe in retribution, and then he fled. The jinn can even possess human beings, including in black magic rituals, when they are summoned by the magicians. I will explain with little more detail on how this is done by the magicians, and show you via video illustration. Unlike humans, the jinn live for thousands of years, and have the ability to see angels as previously mentioned. Let us view a video, which shows the Islamic exorcism, a jinn who is 7,000 years old, has possessed a man. <laughs> Congo. 
کنگو شن کنگو استاد کنگو چی است؟ کنگو اسم جمهوری فی افریقا فی افریقا نعم کنگو انت چی اسم؟ فاریا 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 انت مسلم مسيحي يهودي زولكا زولكا يعني يهودي يهود شي يقول استاذ يهودي يقول عن يهودي كل الزين الله اكبر شوف انت انت مره ثانيه تجي يمين وصاحب هذا الاخ علي محمد جيت يمينه يقول نعم نعم انت تستسلم لما تستسلم انت مسلمان يا نبي مسلمان أبوم أبوم أبوم. أبوم. أه. قل صار؟ بلاي بس درومك ها. دروم كلي ده ده. درو درو حتى زار صار حتى زار صار حتى زار الله اكبر هذا يقول اني مرأة عمري سبعة 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 آلاف سنة واني اهلي بكونغو كونغو هو منطقة افريقية انت اسود اترشي اشبيسي باغي قربان تو تو ساحر عند ناسي في الغازة عند ناسي لا 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 قربان تو بو شاتنا ولا شيء جوان 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 ناتوالي <تصفيق> يدخل الجسم يسال جني؟ نعم 